So do you check your blood sugar at night and then you wake up in the morning and check your blood sugar again and you find that it's much, much higher? You're not alone. Hi everyone, my name is James Marin. I'm a holistic registered dietitian, environmental nutritionist, author, speaker, and diabetes expert. I wanna to talk to you about this phenomenon that happens, right? You go to bed maybe with a decent or relatively low, depending where you are with your diabetes, blood sugar, and you wake up with it much higher. Well, this can be explained by two phenomenons, right? One is called the dawn phenomenon, another is called the smoggy effect. I'm not gonna bore you with all the details, but it's basically from too much insulin or a lack of insulin. Because remember, your body is this fine-tuned, well-oiled machine, okay? It's a biological machine. So at night, for a typically healthy person, okay, whose pancreas is functioning well and liver is functioning well, you're gonna create uh, insulin, right? And you're gonna create blood sugar. So if your blood sugar goes too low, now your liver will naturally produce blood glucose, blood sugar, right? And then your pancreas will produce insulin so it can use that blood sugar because your brain is still running, you're still breathing, your heart's still beating, so your body is still using energy even when you sleep. So the blood sugar in your body is gonna be well regulated even while you sleep. Now, if you're diabetic, if you're on insulin, things get a little more dicey, things get a little more complicated, okay? It's up to you then to, number one, take the right amount of insulin before you go to bed, okay? Because what happens is if you take too much, your blood sugar goes too low. Then your liver ramps up production of blood sugar. Okay, and that could be why your blood sugar is then high in the morning. Now in the same way, if you take too little insulin, well then that's simply a case of you didn't have enough insulin, your pancreas maybe isn't making enough insulin, and your blood sugar still stays high in the morning. On top of that, maybe your body's kind of just going a little haywire from other issues or complications you're having, so your liver might still kick out some blood sugar as well. So then you have a high reading. Now, what's the major connector? What's the major factor in all of this? Well, what's gonna help your insulin work better? What's gonna help you get off insulin? What's gonna help your liver and pancreas better communicate you know, throughout your whole nervous system and your whole you know, endocrine system? It's the fact of your healthy lifestyle habits. Okay guys, this is where it all comes down to what you're doing every day. What are a part of your habits? What are you doing to be healthy? because that's gonna be the big difference of you waking up in the morning with better blood sugar numbers, right? With better fasting readings and worse fasting readings, okay? This is where nutrition and just overall lifestyle medicine plays in and makes a huge difference. It could be the difference of you going from pre-diabetic to type two diabetic or type two diabetic to having major complications, okay? And the same for a type one diabetic to be doing really well and taking minimal amounts of insulin to a type one diabetic who's developing also type two diabetes and having major complications. So it's a big difference. I want you to learn more about that. Click the link below, find out what you can eat, what you can do to take the next steps to better control your diabetes and even reverse your diabetes symptoms, okay? But I just want you to understand a little bit of what's going on with your liver and pancreas at night. They're not asleep, they're still working hard, and if you're not having a healthy lifestyle, they're gonna work even harder and harder, and it's gonna be way more complicated, okay? So if you enjoyed this message, share it with friends and family or anyone you feel needs to hear this message, give us a, a thumbs up, and as always, have a wonderful day.